Hi there, I'm Vaidatas and in this video we'll find out what is that this site can provide a secure connection error and how to solve it. Let's start. If you have ever encountered the error message this site can provide a secure connection, you probably wondered what caused it, especially if there was no further information about what to do. To find out what the error means, let's first define what a secure connection is. In simple words, a secure connection implies that your browsing session is encrypted. Usually, you can identify it thanks to the padlock icon on your browser's URL bar. Another way to know if your browsing session is secured is by checking if the URL starts with an HTTPS rather than just HTTP. The HTTPS indicates that the website has an SSL certificate. If the SSL certificate is expired or invalid, your browser can verify its validity, so you'll see the message, this site can provide a secure connection. But an issue with the SSL certificate is not the only cause of this error. Most of the time, it's only a matter of minor problems with your browser or system configuration. For example, outdated SSL cache, which is a very common reason behind this error. That's because web browsers cache SSL certificates just like other data, so it doesn't need to verify them repeatedly. But when there's a change in the SSL certificate and you haven't cleared the cache, the browser will load an older version and consider it invalid. Then, incorrect time and date settings or browser extensions can also cause issues in the SSL certificate authentication process. Sometimes it is caused by a malicious action, but most of the time it's simply caused by a minor error. Similarly to that, an antivirus can also cause this problem, generally due to outdated software or over-aggressive security settings. This site can provide a secure connection is an error message that only shows up on Google Chrome. Other browsers have different ways to inform about a secure connection issue, but the methods to fix it are pretty similar. So let's go over the possible solutions. Clearing browsing data. Clearing browsing data is the simplest way to fix this error. First, try opening the website in a different browser. If it works, that confirms the issue resides on your browser. To fix this, you just need to press Ctrl Shift Delete to open the privacy and security settings. Select All Time from the drop down menu, then tick the Cookies and Caches boxes. After that, click on the Clear Data button. There are other ways to access privacy settings. You can type this on the address bar or click the three dots on the right side of your Chrome browser. Go to More Tools, then click on the Clear Browsing Data. Clear SSL State. If the first method doesn't work, you can try the Clear SSL State from your device. Go to the Control Panel and choose Internet Options. You can also find the setting by typing on the Windows search bar. Go to the Content tab, click on the Clear SSL State button, and then click OK. Refresh your browser and see if that fixed the error. If it persists, let's try the next option. Disable the Quick Protocol. The Quick Protocol enables a faster connection and negotiates all HTTPS parameters when connecting to a website. However, in some cases, it can cause problems with the SSL connections. So, we can disable it by typing this on the address bar, then we navigate to the Experimental Quick Protocol option. From the drop-down menu, let's change the value to Disabled. After that, we can restart Chrome and try to access the website. After reading the desired post or locating the information you were looking for, use the same shortcut to re-enable the Quick Protocol. Disable Browser Extensions If you are using extensions, particularly anonymizers, proxies, VPNs and antivirus extensions, they can interrupt the traffic to the target website. So, Find the list of enabled extensions by typing this on the address bar. Or click on the Chrome settings, navigate to More Tools, and choose Extensions. After that, disable all extensions by clicking on the toggle button. To identify which one was causing the issue and needs a replacement, we can enable them one by one. Then we can delete it by clicking on the Remove button. Check your firewall and antivirus settings. If you have an antivirus or a firewall activated on your computer, 
they might be blocking your access to the website. Many antiviruses have a built-in module that checks the SSL and TLS certificates on websites. Sometimes, the antivirus may incorrectly detect an invalid expired certificate and block your access to the website. To know if your antivirus or firewall is causing the error, you can try to pause them temporarily. Once you've disabled the software, restart your operating system and try to reaccess the website. If the message disappeared, you found the cause of the error. Update your antivirus software to the latest version or look at alternatives. Check your system's time and date settings. An incorrect date time or time zone on your computer can also cause secure connection errors. If the date is set incorrectly, the browser can misidentify the certificate as expired. To ensure you're using the correct time and time zone set, go to the computer settings, choose time and language section, and navigate to date and time. Enable the options set time automatically and set time zone automatically if they're turned off. Check if the date and time are correct, then Try to refresh the website you were trying to access. That's it! Now you know how to fix the site can provide a secure connection error. Let me know in the comments if you have any other methods that work for you. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it to help other people fix this error. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hostinger Academy's YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials like this. I'll see you next time.